Hi, it's Larry Gaines from Options on the Open. Just wanted to show you a really interesting um, chart pattern or setup. You've probably heard about the Golden Cross. Uh, it's mentioned all the time by technicians and on CNBC. But uh, I don't know if you know all the history behind it, some of the historical data. And if you don't know what the Golden Cross is, let me just show you. This is something that is used usually on the S&P 500. So we're going to use this to illustrate the statistics, historic statistics that go back using the S&P 500, the SPX, which is the cash. And basically what it is is when the 50-day, which is this yellow moving average, simple moving average, crosses the 200, this is called the Golden Cross. And what's even more significant about this particular pattern is that if the 200-day moving average is sloping down and the 50-day moving average moves up through it, it's even more of a bullish indicator uh, based on past historic data. So this is just a short period of time, but you can see the last time we had a cross was October, right here, October 2010. And uh, when it crossed, you had this huge, you know, bull market rally. Uh, the same happened back here. Let me go back a little bit further. Uh, back in uh, uh, around June of 2009. So you can see, and then the last time you've had these crossovers, you had a crossover here in 2008 which had the big move down uh, and also 2010 which had a short move, move down so this is the Golden Cross and the crossover is going to happen within the next four or five days unless the market really tanks but uh, just based on this moving average we're going to see this probably happen and you're going to have everybody start talking about it so I thought I'd give you a heads up on it and give you some history and information about it. Since 1942, um, every time we've had a cross, um, when the 50-day crosses back uh, under the 200-day uh, or above, it produced nine winners out of 14 signals, uh, and the average of 21.6 percent between the buy and the sell signals. So you've had a high percentage of winning signals when this thing has crossed since 1942. Uh, the drawdown, most of this, uh, this index would have gone against you over that period of time, was an average of minus 2.3%, uh, while the max gain was uh, averaged at 34.4%. Uh, and it took an average of 359 days um, for the signal to reverse itself once it made a cross to the upside. Uh, the shortest was uh, 81 days or four months. Now this study goes back from 1928 through 2011 and uh, the last time you had a S&P um, golden cross where uh, the 50-day moves above a declining 200-day moving average. The last time this happened was June 23rd, 2009. Uh, one week later, so here it is right here. <clears throat> Hold on. So here, see it's declining. Declining moving average, the 200 day. So the last time this happened was June, right here, the 23rd. And um, when that happened, When that happened, the uh, market for um, uh, went 2.7% uh, higher one week later, 9.1% higher a month later, uh, over 19% three months later, and uh, six months later it was uh, up over 24%. So that was back in 2009. But that was, you know, also the market was coming off a huge down move. So just wanted to point this out and show you this uh, interesting chart pattern whether or not it happens we shall find out soon 
And uh, please join me and follow us at optionsontheopen.com, optionsontheopen.com. And we had a fantastic day trading today. Today, June, June, I'm thinking June, January 25th, 2012. Uh, we had a fantastic day in the market uh, trading Apple and gold. And So come join us. Check us out at optionsontheopen.com, optionsontheopen.com. Thank you for your time.